Hi, my name is Larry Redman, and today on another satellite edition of La Mia Cucina, we're doing chicken. And what we're going to do is we're going to spatchcock the chicken. Basically what happens is when you roast a whole chicken like this, obviously the surface area is all in, there's a lot of it inside. So what we're trying to do is make it so that it's easier to roast this chicken in a shorter amount of time. So what we're doing is this is the, these are the breast, obviously your thighs and your legs, and this is the back of the chicken. So what you're going to do is you are going to cut open the chicken in the back. Basically what I'm doing is I've taken these shears, watch your thumbs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the backbone. Pretty simple actually as you can see. Now this is a really good pair of kitchen shears. I watched the lady who sold this to me cut a penny with this. All right. Then I cut the other side of the backbone. Yes, you're cutting bone. That's what you're doing. And there we go. We've separated out the bone. I put it in a bag. I put it in the freezer. That way it sits there when I want to uh, work on a stock. <laughs> As if I've got time for that. All right, second of all, now we've split open the chicken, and what I'm going to be doing is drying, you know, they tell you to dry off, dry off your meat. Well, that's what we're doing here as well. But the other thing we're going to do in here is we're going to slightly cut the wishbone and the keel bone of the chicken so that we can get a nice flat surface. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my chef's knife and I'm just putting a little bit of a cut in there and cutting it and splitting it open. Just a little bit like that. So eventually, there we go, nice and flat. And that's what we're trying to get to because that width on the chicken will help us cook it a little bit faster. Season the chicken, salt, pepper, maybe garlic powder, and uh, we'll get to the other goodies in our recipe. For our other ingredients, the bed under the chicken, all right? What we've got is we've got potatoes. I've got little new potatoes, tiny potatoes. I'm just cutting them in half and throwing them in some water. We're going to use them pretty soon. Just like that. And one last one here. Okay, those stay in water. That way they'll, these will stay in water. That way uh, they'll stay with a good color. And then we also have carrot. Pretty simple. No important or big complicated chop in here. What we're trying to do is just get a nice rough chop. Um, if you think of the old pot roast, sometimes, you know, whoever was doing the cooking would just chop big fat medallions of your pot, uh, in your, of carrots. Something like this. Right? You know, you'd see those kinds of things. Now you can use them that way as well, but I like them a little bit smaller. It just makes it guaranteed that in the time you're in the oven, your carrots will be done as well. Okay, so a nice rough chop there. In they go. Where's one of those medallions? Mmm, yum. Okay. Remember, an onion has big and chunky as it looks, will actually reduce and self-caramelize. So what we're trying to do is, in fact, instead of like making a really tiny, tiny cut, we're making big cuts. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting out the root ball in the onion, 
and basically just making big wedge cuts. Like that. They'll separate out in the, uh, in the cooking and they'll cook down and they'll get succulent and gorgeous. We have potatoes, we have onions, we have carrots. Another thing you want to have is I'm going to have this tied together, nice herbaceous, gorgeous poultry seasoning mix, which is composed of three things, sage leaves, rosemary, and thyme. No parsley. Sing along if you want. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to prepare the potatoes. So I'm putting them in the microwave here for about 7 to 10 minutes to get them a good start. Bet you didn't think I could get a camera in here, did you? put the dish all the way together. First thing we're going to do is we've got our cast iron skillet. It's been greased on the inside. You can use you know a spray or you can actually just ladle it in, scoop it around, just make sure it's nice and shiny. Okay, I take my parboiled potatoes, they're still hot, and I put them in the bottom of the pan. That's basically what putting the potatoes in the microwave have done, is they've given it a little bit of a head start, so that however long we're in the oven, the potatoes will be cooked. The first time I tried this recipe, the potatoes were not done. In the words of, of uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, it was a bit of an underdone potato. So, we put the potatoes in. Carrots. Alright. And onions. All right. This mound of gorgeousness that you see here, as big and heavy as it looks, is all going to cook down. So make sure that you season liberally. Pretty simple, straightforward. Salt, pepper. And I'm going to throw in a little Herbs de Provence down here below. And then up on top with the chicken as well. All right. Now, next, we put down our little corpouillon tied up herbaceousness that's going to sit right there. What I forgot to put in... is French onion soup. It's a dry soup mix. And basically what I do is I put it all over the top of the vegetables. Let's just let that... Because this dry mixture is going to work like a seasoning as well as a gravy. It's going to give the, the vegetables an entire new tastiness to it. So, I'm using Nord right underneath our chicken. So we've got our spatchcocked chicken, and now we take the chicken and lay it right on top of the vegetables. Basically what this is going to do is that this lovely bird is now going to season and baste all of our vegetables through its drippings. So, lastly, we're going to season the top of the chicken, salt, yeah, you know, it's why it tastes good, salt, pepper, Herbs de Provence on top. And lastly, I'm 
going to take some spray, some spray non-stick coating, and I'm going to spray the top of the chicken. I've set the timer for 170 degrees. It's going to go, the probe is going to go inside the thigh of the chicken. Make sure that it doesn't touch the bone, but it's there sitting in the, sitting in the flesh. All right. It's set for an alarm right now. The alarm will go off at 170. It's going into a 350 degree oven. And then those last 10, those last 10 degrees are important. As you can see, the rack is just below the broiler, and that's important for later. So in we go. Sit it nicely right there. And we're going to wait till this thing buzzes at 170. And I'm going to be using this window to help me. Okay, that sound you hear is the alarm. It's at 170. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this from bake to broil. And I'm going to watch this for the last... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. I'm going to watch this for the last 10 degrees to really crisp up the skin on the chicken. Off it goes. The chicken has now gotten to 180 degrees, which is exactly what we want it to do. So now I'm going to pull it out. All right. As you can see, it's got a gorgeous little, like, warm toastiness on it. To make sure that the chicken stays and rests, we're going to throw some regular old foil on it and then a big fat towel to cover it. This will give the chicken a chance to rest and let what's left of the drippings to really, really work into those vegetables. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. There's our chicken. As you can see, Look at that. Is that gorgeous? And look how simple it is. Now, and there you have it. Pot roast chicken. Think of it that way. It's a spatchcock chicken in a pan with vegetables. And I'm pairing it with a lovely unoaked Chardonnay. And of course we have to taste it. So, Cut into that chicken. See how easy it pulls right out. Mm. The herbs are savory. And because I like the skin, I'm going to eat the skin. And now to taste those vegetables. It's rich, it's luscious, it's a guilty pleasure, and it's easy. So, till next time on Lemmy Cucina. Buon appetito!